What's up guys? So yes, I look a little crazy today. I'm trying out something new, so let me know if you guys like this look down in the comments below. But today I want to talk about something a little bit different. So as you guys know, coming with the school months, back to school season is a little stressful for a lot of people. And even if you're not in school, going back to work after a nice summer off or summer vacation, even if you just get two weeks off, starting back at something can always be a little bit stressful. Starting somewhere new can be stressful. There's a lot of stresses that go on in life. And a lot of you guys have questions for me about how I deal with that sort of stress. So a little background story, I have suffered from um, pretty severe anxiety and panic disorder for a long time. And you know, things that wouldn't be stressful to most people are stressful for me. And there are just many things that play into that. So I wanted to kind of just come up with ways I find are more therapeutic to get over those stresses and, you know, stick on a positive note and to be able to deal with all of those everyday things that you don't want to deal with and you'd rather just like be in bed watching Netflix. We can't all live our lives like that no matter how much we want to. Um, we do have to be involved in the social norm and do our part in society to be able to live. This video is a part of the hashtag what's your therapy tag video and it's part of the web therapy series that will be premiering on Showtime again and I know that Style Hall is going to be having a web therapy kind of like serious thing on their channel. So I thought it was a great opportunity to kind of just talk about things that are like my therapy. And I'm also interested in hearing things that you guys do that are kind of could be like what your therapy is because I'm always searching for ways to kind of get my mind off of things when it's, you know, getting a bit too much. I like to keep very positive. I like keeping positive people in my life. I like being happy. I like laughing. I like smiling. So anything that's gonna make me feel that way, I'm definitely open to. Things that I find doing when I'm anxious or having a lot of stress is just to kind of get my mind off of whatever I'm doing. So for me, it would be going to YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos. I find it very therapeutic for me. So like things that are like my therapy that I don't need to see a therapist for, obviously, is just like kind of coming home from school or from work if you have a, a stressful day, just kind of curling up on the couch or in bed, just watching a few YouTube videos to get my mind distracted before I do anything else like homework or other work or anything else I have to do for that day. I just find, you know, getting lost in someone else's life for a bit is very therapeutic for me. Um, that's why I love daily vlogging so much. Well, not me, but I love watching daily vlogs so much because it kind of just like, it's a short escape from reality. And then obviously you get to know the people really well and you feel connected to them. But um, I just find that, you know, getting your mind off of things is very important, especially if you are stressed about something or feeling anxious or whatever you might be feeling. Another thing would be probably like going for a walk. So I love going for long walks. I love nature. I love bringing my dogs for walks. I have two dogs. They're super awkward and different, but I love them so much and I like taking them on walks to kind of clear my head. They're so cute. Another thing which may seem weird to a lot of people, but I love to do my makeup and hair. I find it very relaxing. So, and I also get really excited to do different looks and stuff. So when I'm like in that state of like putting my foundation on and putting my like eyebrows and everything, doing all that kind of stuff, liquid eyeliner, you know, gotta concentrate on that. It really gets your mind off of anything that you're worrying about. So I just think that there are many things in life that are kind of like, could be your therapy when it comes to everyday stresses. So YouTube videos for me, especially vlogging, going for walks, taking my dog for a walk, um, you know, doing my hair and makeup. Also, I'm starting to take up cooking a little bit. I'm a pretty crappy cook. To be honest, like I'm, I'm real, I'm real, I'm bad. Okay, I'm really bad. But my boyfriend loves cooking, and he has been teaching me a few things. So I'm excited to start learning more. And I just find that doing something with someone when they really enjoy it, it helps you become happy too. So that's something that I just really find works. Um, doing things with someone that you care about or even a friend, a parent, whatever they like to do, ask them to join. I'm sure they would love to have a partner and to teach. I know for me, I love like showing people what I do and doing things to make other people happy makes me very happy. Another thing I find for me is uh, playing guitar and piano. Even though I'm not like amazing at them, I do love playing them, I love learning new songs and teaching myself different things. If I'm feeling very down or whatever, I'll go and like play a few songs and just get into the mindset of, 
you know, the music, and it just really helps me a lot. Instead of letting that negative energy control you and tell you what to do and how to think and, you know, get you all negative and upset, you could choose to be happy. I know Shay Carl always says happiness is a choice, and I really believe that because I do find happiness is a choice. You could choose to be happy, and no matter what circumstance it is, you could choose happiness. You can find something in every single day that will make you happy, no matter what it is. Even if it's just a sunset or something that you just in that moment think like, wow. You can just appreciate it. Then anything like that, it can make you happy. And if I think you're gonna go around being negative, then that's a bad way to think because you're not living life to your fullest. Stepping outside your comfort zone, being happy are like the two main ingredients to life in my opinion. I feel like this video is very different from videos that I normally do. I like to once in a while do advice videos and stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd rather me do this on my vlogging channel, then let me know as well because I love doing these kinds of videos. Filming videos for you guys. Wow, why did I not think of that? Filming videos for you guys is therapy for me. I love filming videos. I love editing videos. I love taking pictures, editing pictures. I just love all that stuff. How did I forget that? Seriously, guys. This, right now, what I'm doing is therapy for me. It's making me feel happy. It's making me feel good. And I get to talk to all of you. Even though I'm honestly just talking to my camera, I know that you guys are gonna be watching this. And I do feel like we're all friends and we're all connected. And that just makes me super happy. I love talking to you guys. So if you're interested in seeing more of these types of videos, then let me know in the comments. Also let me know if there are things that make you happy and what your therapy might be in an everyday, like, Thing, whether it be food, whether it be acting, whether it be, you know, doing sports, whether it be dancing, whether it be going for walks, shopping, anything. Let me know what you guys like to do to kind of get your mind off things. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And also don't forget to subscribe and go on over to Style Hall's channel where you can subscribe to the web therapy season or series as you might want to say. And where also Casper Lee will be doing a lot of hosting and stuff like that. So if you like Casper Lee and if you like YouTube, then you should go over and check it out. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I love you all so much and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!